From KTVO, expect more. Well, we're starting to see a little bit more sunshine out there right now. Partly sunny skies at the Kirksville Regional Airport, 61 degrees. With brisk winds out of the southwest at 18 miles per hour. At Tumwa right now, 60 degrees, cloudy skies. Winds are out of the southwest. Uh, pretty strong, 23 miles per hour. I know John showed you this earlier, but this is just unbelievable. The magnitude of some straight line winds, uh, courtesy of Michael Shively from Ethel, Missouri, a mobile home that just looks like a toy that just got overturned. So it's unbelievable. Again, straight line winds can do just as much damage as a tornado can. So again, we did see a, a tornado watch that was issued around one o'clock from the Storm Prediction Center. That was in southeast Iowa. What prompted this was this line of thunderstorm activity that continued to uh, move north and east as we headed into the early afternoon. And then around three o'clock or so, uh, we did have one severe thunderstorm warning in Henry County. Uh, some stronger thunderstorms continuing to push through. And then everything was out of here. And they have lifted the tornado watch that was in effect until 7 o'clock, as well as the flood watches. They just discontinued those. So the threat for some rain uh, is, very, is diminishing quite a bit as we're heading into the evening hours, which is good. Uh, because we're going to get a little bit of a break because we have more as we're heading into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and even into Friday. So again, we did receive quite a bit of rainfall yesterday, anywhere from an inch to an inch and a quarter, and then additional half inch or so from late last night as that second line of, of thunderstorms moved through the area. This is around 7 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Again, uh, some heavier rainfall continuing to push through. We could see an additional half inch or so as we're heading throughout the rest of the week, which is good because we're getting it sporadically. We don't need it at one time like we did yesterday, a torrential downpour. So again, additional rainfall amounts maybe up to a half inch. As far as the temperatures, they are going to be cooler behind this frontal system. Waking up tomorrow morning into the mid 40s and then by noontime around 50 degrees or in the lower 50s. Uh, so again, we are going to see that cooler air behind this system. And actually, we're going to see it tonight, feeling about 46 degrees with cloudy skies. Southwest winds gusting up to 21 miles per hour. And then highs for tomorrow, only 56 degrees. We were in the 70s and lower 80s over the weekend. Southwest winds around 10 with rain likely. And keep your umbrella handy. We're going to see temperatures in the low to mid 50s all this week with a chance of rain each day. Overnight lows into the upper 30s. Finally, we'll see more sunshine as we're heading into the weekend with highs near 60 degrees. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So kind of a dreary week. Mm -hmm. Cloudy skies, rain showers, chilly temperatures. Yeah, I was going to say those storms cool things right down. Don't they it? certainly do. All right, thanks, Teresa. You're welcome. Next in